Stability AI just casually dropped Stable Cascade and you should look at some of these images and judge them yourself. However, these images were the cherry picked images that they showcase. So, one of the major hypes right now is how well it handles text. Huh? Again, one of the major hypes. So, this caught my attention because up until now, I have yet to find a generative model that can actually handle the simple words learn more with AI controversy to this day. To this day! To this day! To this day. And once Stable Cascade dropped, I immediately ran to it to see if it could handle this simple text. Learn more with AI controversy. And the results... I'll get back to that in a bit. For now, let's get it installed so you too can run it on your local machine. For this, we'll be using Pinocchio. It's pretty self-explanatory and I cover it a lot on my channel. Just go to Pinocchio.computer, install it, then click on Discover and search for Stable Cascade. Then install Stable Cascade. Keep in mind, this is the unofficial demo for Stable Cascade and it has a non-commercial research license. The UI is simple enough. We enter our text prompt here. They also have an advanced option drop-down menu. And of course, some example prompts. If we expand the advanced option menu, we can enter a negative prompt and adjust our seed. Set our width and height and the number of images to generate. We have the ability to adjust the guidance scale, prior inference steps, decoder guidance scale, and a decoder inference steps. So I tested it and there I was giving this thing a go and let's just say it wasn't winning any races. Why? Because my state of the art RTX 3060 with its whopping 12 gigabytes of RAM apparently is a relic now. But hey, did I throw in the towel? <laughs> yeah, right. I did what any person stuck with a relic would do. I switched to the hugging face demo for my image making needs. Because if life gives you potatoes, you make digital art online? Sure, let's go with that. Or could it just be I'm spoiled with the latest SDXL turbo models? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, since I had to resort to generating the images online, I decided to compare it to the SDXL Turbo, SDXL, Dolly 3, and I threw in Google's image effects in there just because I don't know. I'm just going to test this using basic prompts to see how well it handles basic prompting. But before I do, I wanted to see how others felt about Stable Cascade. So I did what any other person would do. I went to Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and read it. So what's happening on the social media side of things? Well, there's a mixture of people who think Cascade is overhyped. For example, this user on Twitter X said, I find it funny that Stability is launching Stable Cascade as a research-only license because it's a new architecture, while this model is basically the V3 version of Verschen. Another user on Twitter, slash X, said, I just tried out Stable Cascade. The first results are just okay, but I use the simplest prompts possible. Better prompts and fine-tuned models will likely produce much better results. Yeah, that is true, but then again, those images look pretty good to me. But I'm a simple kind of guy. I'm not a very critical, judgmental person, so take that with a grain of salt. You be the judge. And then this user on Reddit said, Finally gets a 12V RAM. Next big model will take 20. Oh, nice. Guess I will need a bigger case to fit another GPU. I know what you mean, big farter. I know what you mean. This Reddit thread is long, so I can't cover it all. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to read the whole thread. But yeah, I thought it was just me having slow issues with Stable Cascade, but apparently even some users in the Pinocchio Discord mentioned it was slow for them. So yeah, if you got less than a 12 gigabyte card, I'm not sure how well it will run for you. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Stable Cascade in the comments below, but don't leave yet because the video ain't over. I know I just did a call to action just 
just now, but we still need to check out the image comparisons and how well Stable Cascade handled the simple text prompt of learn more with AI controversy. I'm guessing you want to see the image comparisons next, don't you? Okay, well, maybe I was right, maybe I was wrong. Anyways, here they are. All right, let me know what you guys think. And now for the moment you've been waiting for. Well, probably not, but drum roll, please. <sighs> Still no hope for this specific text. Well, I tried the same text inside of another generative model. Be sure to check that video out here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, AI Controversy signing off.